Today, I will be talking about languages and their role in immigration. A language is the words that represent emotions, characteristics, and objects. It is how people communicate and is arguably the most powerful tool every person has. I am passionate about languages. Personally, I speak three, Dutch, French, and English. And this past summer, I went to Belgium and taught, a Dutch, taught Dutch to children there. I helped at a refugee center, helping to teach kids to learn to read and write. In the future, we will have to lead because of climate change. I am passionate about immigration specifically, and I know that it is one of the many aspects of people's lives that will change in the coming years. Both climate change and immigration together will force countries to adapt not only to a change in temperature, but also to a change in their residents. In the future world, language will be a uniting and dividing factor. It will be the way people come together to fight climate change. Yet it will also be a challenge for people from different origins, countries, and cultures to stand united despite a communication barrier. Today, and during the last few years, people have migrated to countries like Belgium from countries like Iran and Afghanistan because of war and conflicts that have made it infeasible for them to stay there. In the future, there will be an added factor for displacement, climate change. Over the summer, I helped refugees in their transition to Belgium. At a program called Zomerklasse, I volunteered to play activities with children while working on maintaining their Dutch skills. I also volunteered to speak to, Dutch, to adults in Dutch to help them learn to maintain a conversation. Over the course of three weeks, I learned about the lives of many people, including a student who was my age, Saba. Saba was the only person in his family who came to the lessons. He got a ride from one of the volunteers three times a week. When we talked, he struggled through conversations, but he was persistent and continuously worked on correcting himself. Speaking from personal experience, there is a visible difference between a children and adults' ability to speak Dutch. In the refugee center, the children were taking summer classes but had already been exposed to Dutch in school. Parents received one-on-one -on -one lessons, attempting to grasp concepts and words such as the word train. Having spent the same amount of time in Belgium, parents were unable to form full sentences, while students, while children communicated with me mainly in Dutch. The children spoke Dutch with each other, and transition to their native language when speaking to their parents. For 50 years, countries have not properly prepared for immigration caused by climate change. Yet, it is something that is happening at an ever-increasing pace. 133,000 people come into Belgium every year. That number is nothing compared to what is set to happen. Hypothetically speaking, what is going to happen if the number of immigrants increases to more than 2 million a year? What is it going to be like when more people immigrate? Saba is preparing himself to live and work. Language was the force of assimilation that helped him reach this point. After Saba, I understood that to become fluent, it takes time. So learning a new language to integrate into a community is a long-term endeavor, not something you can do right away. Even in the best of circumstances, the refugees are on their way to becoming adjusted to the language, but they still have to learn to read and write. Language is often looked at as independent from people's culture, but language influences the way people look at different aspects of life, this misconception results in people assuming that generations of families believe the same thing, even when transitioning to a different language. 
As globalization and the movement of people across borders accelerates, language is having an impact on culture in a way no one expected it to. More frequently, people have suggested creating a universal language, such as English. In the midst of globalization, a move towards a connected society and language is more likely. Regardless of whether or not society will name a universal language, the shift towards a society that has one is becoming more likely. Languages can be a barrier in our progress toward a more connected world. At the same time, they are essential to the cultures and countries of different people. In our rapidly shifting society, we depend on globalization. Hopefully, we will be able to use languages as a tool for fighting climate change in the future. Thank you.